Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas and I'm here with Christian. What up? And Anna. Good evening. Woo. Pull in the comments. Welcome to us. Yeah. Yeah, we're here. It's Tuesday. It is Tuesday. And we do this thing every Tuesday. We do do it every Tuesday. Do you guys know the second anniversary is coming Tues up? Oh, is it? Trees? Yeah, in like, I don't know, six more weeks or so. Our second anniversary. That's pretty oh, exciting. That's cool. Look at that. You guys did the first episode like the week after Christmas, and then I joined like right before New Year's the next week. Hmm. There we go. Look Surprise. at that. That's exciting. Wow. I definitely yeah. didn't know that anniversary. Time time flies when we're all having fun. I'm glad someone in the relationship pays attention. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's Tuesday. It means that there's another Transformers pre-order, right? Oh. I guess. That feels like just any random day of the week. That is true. So yeah, there's another exclusive. Yay! Uh, Amazon put up... Um, what what was this set called? It's the Botropolis Rescue Mission, I think is what it's called. Something like that. Something like that. The fifth yeah. of the Galactic Odyssey collection. It, Botropolis sounds right. It's the like we put a bunch of random crap on Amazon no, and called it, it something. No. I, I I have capitulated to Lucas's opinion that it's a mini version of Countdown's Rocket Base. And yes. it comes with two more members of the Astro Squad and two new characters, maybe, who are supposed to be in the Astro Squad but are not Barrage and Heave. So, who knows who they are? They look like Wind Waver. And no one knows what I'm talking about because Peter's not here. Peter's here in the P chat. Peter's here in the chat. Peter's here in the chat? He is, yeah. Today, uh, I, I received a paper bag full of random Transformers, and I think that the thing on Amazon is very similar to that. I hope that it comes in a paper bag. It, it could. It no. could. That's where we go. We go from the paper for the cardboard boxes to paper bags. Well, I it was... An Amazon ordering a paper mailer last week. It was fast See, track. It was very, very crushed. Did they throw it in the middle of your lawn like they do for I, Peter? I live in an apartment, so no. They can't. I mean, there's a <laughs> there's a pond right outside my door in the middle of the courtyard. It's I mean, they could Perfect. put it in there. They could float it away. Yeah. All right, so should we go ahead and get started talking about what we're yes. this other Amazon packs that we're about, talking about yep. tonight? Amazon packs. Yeah. Let's start with Carl since we kind of previewed him last week. <sighs> It's Prowl. Woo. It is Prowl. He's here. And he's really cool. He's just as cool as we thought last week. <laughs> he has a new siren piece. Just like, you know, he should. His paint details are really crisp. And the only other interesting thing I can tell you about mine is that mine does not tab in at the shoulder tabs. Huh. It's not, it's not lined up properly. And I don't know why. But the, the shoulder square pieces, I don't know if I can sh like where his arms attach right there, they end up resting right in front of the tabs. Well. Instead of actually going on to the tabs. If it gives you any consideration of how well mine's have been, I didn't know he had shoulder tabs. Cool. So, no, I, um, mine doesn't tab in right either. I'm like, I really thought it was me. Mine was tabs in fine, it, but, but, um, I mean, like, it come, the tabs come right out, like, when you move Yeah, they come right out. Them. I mean, like, I guess like, it does go in there, but it just comes out. It doesn't, like, actually give any friction. But mine do not go in. It just, not, it's not, huh. it's not yeah. aligned. I don't know why. Wow. So. I really thought I was transforming it wrong, and then I transformed all the Datsuns together. Mm hmm Nope. I'm right. Just, it doesn't do it. Yeah, I didn't know it had tabs either, Randall, so you're not the only one. Nope. Nope. It has tabs. You can see them from the side. See, last yeah. week, I didn't know it had the inner leg doohickeys. Well, you learn something new every week about this toy. It's like a new toy. <laughs> there you go. You're learning. Right. 
interlake doohickeys. So I want to say that, you know, I I like Prowl's design, I think, is the whole reason I like this figure so much. Because I just, like, I mean, I've had one Prowl toy I didn't like, and that was the New Age version. I thought that was horrible. But otherwise, every Prowl toy I've ever had, I've really liked. Even the old classics toy with the giant neck, I still I like actually liked it, even though I hated the head assembly on it. I still like the toy, but this one just, like, you know, it stands out so much to me because it's like, oh, it's a prowl on my shelf. It's pretty because it's just, I think it's just this colors and, you know, being this style of police car that folds into a robot. It looks neat. There's a lot of clear plastic on them. That's that's the only thing I kind of worry about this mold in general is, is that the legs are all clear plastic and whatnot, so. They are. That's a little bit of a risk. Do, do either of you have your um your uh, siege prowl laying around? I do. Right here. Is the head different? I feel like the head's yes. different. Okay. A hundred percent. So the the um the V the V fin is smaller on the new one, right? Yes, yes it is. Much smaller. <laughs> See, yeah. that kind of bums me out because when I look at him, I'm like, oh, his V fin's supposed to be longer, and it's it's not so. That's like the only thing wrong with them. I thought I saw that someone switched them out. I could you be making that can. up. I don't know. That's one thing I feel like with all of these figures, and we'll get that with Ironhide as well, is that there's like parts that I like on each one, and I kind of wish I could just easily swap them together, but you can't really. Like, I mean, there's so many, you know, parts that are like pinned in and whatever. I mean, I suppose you could probably do it, but I just don't really want to. Are the arms more or less the same part as they were on the Siege Mold? Uh, no. I mean, like, they're they're pretty much the same, but they're molded differently. So it's kind of like okay. Ironhide, where, like, they look the same, but they're different because the molding's different. Yeah. You did what you got to tap? I focused real hard and got it to tap. You bent the plastic. No. Oh, I did not. But yeah, I kind of wish I could have the Siege wheels on the new one, because, like, the wheels... Like on these are just black or whatever. And yeah. The siege wheels are very cool looking. I don't know. Yeah, they were. They were neat. I don't know. The only thing that I really am not appreciative about with this prowl because it it really does. I mean, it's a pretty quintessential classics prowl. Like it's great. Yeah. But mm -hmm. every other version of this mold, the two we've gotten and barricade that's coming, has the rifle. And the shoulder cannons, and Prowl just doesn't have the shoulder cannons for for no reason, as far as I can tell. Did he have them in the cartoon though? Like I don't know if that's what they're. No, but the toy had it, and he's had them in the comics time, time yeah. again. Yeah, I mean, he has them off and on. I mean, if you really want that G one cartoon look, this is it. But yeah, yeah, having them as an option would be fun, I suppose. Although, if you're going to display them in their G one mode, then you'd have to store it somewhere, which we know Lucas loves doing. That's true. Lucas does love storing things. But other than that, he's do. great. He's probably the best Classics Prowl I could imagine. Yeah, really. Because honestly, the only thing that makes me... The only thing that makes me not want to just get rid of my MP and keep this version is really the head. Like, if it wasn't for the shorter v fan. Because it just, it bugs me for some reason. It's like, I could have a longer fin on his head. Um, if it wasn't for that, I think I'd go ahead and just get the rid of the MP. Now, you know, everyone knows the hollow legs bug me. And if the hollow legs don't bug you, then you're lucky because... It but the hollow really legs, again, you. the masterpiece had hollow legs. So it's like, it's kind yeah, of it, like... Yeah, it has hollow-ish legs, but you can't see them as openly as you can with these. But it's not a huge deal. It's actually a really good-looking figure. I just, yeah. when I compare heads, I have to take the head I like the most. And even though the other, the MP head doesn't have cool faces or anything... I just really like the fin being longer. It's such a stupid little thing to get hung up on. Yeah. I I feel like, like Anna, like... that you are like just trying to justify, you know, keeping the masterpiece. Because I think you said the same thing about some of the other figures, where you're like, the facial expression is just slightly better <laughs> on the masterpiece, is. and that's it's obviously why I have to spend a hundred dollars instead of twenty dollars on a figure. It's free spent. 
It's pre-spent. That, yeah, I guess that's true. It already flew away. I I like the MT Prowl because it has more vehicle mode detailing. It does. Like it's it's stuff from the toy, and I, I got the launchers for that one. You know, in that case, but you know, this one could have like highway patrol on the the sides, and it could have, you know, some taillight s- stuff, and and I'm sure Reaper labels will take care of a lot of that. Oh, well, it has taillights. But, oh yeah, it does. Look at that. But, you know, it, you know, you know what I'm talking about the door the door stuff. It's not quite right. But it's, quite, it's very correct for the cartoon. Well, I mean, I kind of wish the doors, like, folded up a little bit, like how the Masterpiece does. But again... I actually did, yeah. too. It's, it's you know, a $20 toy. I have toy. mine angled back one click, and it does... It may, it gets that look to do it. Yeah, it helps. It's, it's, it's kind of too. a forced perspective deal, but it, it works for me. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, that's what I did with mine, too. Yeah, you know. All right. It just felt natural. That to do it yeah. like that. It was like, it needs yeah. to look white, so I pushed it back a little. Yep. Yeah. Like I said, force perspective, but it, it does kind of make that, that curve upward thing. And just in case anyone one. thinks we're being deceitful right now, I have Prowl holding Iron Heist gun, so that's why mine has two guns instead of one. He just borrowed it. Iron Hide didn't need it. Here's a van. I mean, the one thing I'll say is, is I really like the blue clear plastic that they use on this. I like, I think it's, it's nice. just, is it, it looks really nice. It's a, pretty much the perfect color for me. Like it's not too blue, not too clear, you know, whatever. Like I, I do really like that. So I don't know. I mean, overall, I think it's a really nice version of it. I don't mind getting the new update. I mean, I think all of these, you know, I, I don't know. Barricade's going to be the first one where I think I kind of like the Siege one better, but... We'll see. You guys have heard me say this a lot for Earthrise figures we reviewed, but this feels like I don't ever need to buy another Prowl. Yeah. I hope it stays that way. Like, I hope we don't repeat this in, like, three years. We have the same show, and we're like, <laughs> this is so much better than that Earthrise POS. I hope but not. We'll see. Yeah. And it doesn't include, like, other prowls, like Beast Wars or Animated. Just I don't adore prowl. the feet on this thing, but otherwise I think it's great. And, you know, the feet are something that is often just kind of a blob for Transformers, so it's okay. Like, I think the feet are something that's acceptable to not look as good. The I mean, I don't know. Like, I like everything. the fact that he has pretty good articulation in his feet again. Like, you know, you know, it's like back and forth, and you can, you know, do the transformation. You kind of move it up like that, so... I don't know. Like, I, I think it, it works for me. Like, and again, I know you were talking about the hollow legs. Like, to me, I feel like this is some of the, I don't know, like, this works for me a lot more than, like, the ones where they're hollow on the side. And um, the same way with, like, run amok or whatever, where it's, like, the whole thing, like, the back feels like it's gone. So, I don't know. Like, this just, it just works for me. I think that this I is agree. probably one of the really hollow. They're yeah, not that bad. Really I think that I think the fact that he has, you know, just kind of black toes and then that weird heel spur just isn't really my favorite thing in the world. But it's fine. Like I'm not saying it's particularly bad. I'm just saying I would like a different foot design. I actually like the foot design better on the Siege figure, personally. Yeah. Ron brings like the up the, the same point. Does. We we t- tried to tell this to Anna last week that the masterpiece feet are very similar, but she doesn't agree with us, so. I don't think they're they're similar, but I do think these feet are better. So there's my final. Let's say I don't have a masterpiece one to compare anymore. So. Mine is like, a uh, three feet away. I can't reach that far. <laughs> <laughs> can't do it. So. Get get, get prowl. He's cool. Yeah, it's good. It's a good figure. It's a good looking prowl. And I don't think you'll, if you want to prowl, you're probably not going to have any complaints about this. I mean, I don't know. Like, I feel like this set, again, that, like, <laughs> I like both the characters. Both are main characters. And it's, I don't know. I guess the the Ratchet and Paradron Medic, whatever. What, what's the other? What? Sorry, Christian, what's her name? Her name's Lifeline. Lifeline. Um, so, Ratchet and Lifeline, I, I guess that makes sense, too. You know, but, um, I don't know. See, Randall agrees with me. The Siege Toesies look like Toesies. 
Yeah. Oh, no, I agree with you. Like, yeah, I but I, look... I agree with Lucas on the whole, like, if I could just Frankenstein the two together, I could you make, probably... like, my super yeah, perfect yeah. disprowl. Do you have a pin pump? Yeah, you can probably do it. probably it. wouldn't transform anymore after, yeah. but... Well, I mentioned last week that I think I'm going to swap the wheels between my barricades. Yeah, that's true. You did say that. Because these purple yeah, wheels and this guy are can, can the wheels come off, like, not that... Yeah, they might. I, don't know. I think they can probably come off. Like, I think they'll probably either come off easy or completely break. Uh, the wheels are different, though. Like, I'm looking yeah. at yes, the wheels right different. now, and the design is different. Like, the way that they go in. So, uh, you wouldn't, I won't do it. You wouldn't oh, be oops. able to do that. Oh, well. So. Good idea. Oh, Sad well. Problem. So. Anyway. I guess are we on the Ironhide now? I've got mine in vehicle yes. mode, so... I've got, got mine in vehicle mode. Let's I've got mine see. in bot mode. Perfect. Look at that. Guys, in the most mode. exciting... Getting up on its feet. Exciting mode. He is a v van. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, he's a rectangle. He's very much a rectangle. Okay, but he's not the same rectangle as the Siege one. No, I mean, I no, think not this at van all. is incredible. I mean, the let's go ahead and talk about the feet on the back. It's not great, it isn't, but it's also not nearly as horrifying as everyone made it out to be. Like, it's fine. You know I what's weird? I, I was looking at it today, and I feel like because they have like the curve um, for the van, you know, right? Like, they seem to actually fit in better than the feet on this guy like where they're just like hanging out there like i don't know somehow like this one just feels more right to me than you know, like this like i hate the arms like that they're just hanging out here and i and then i feel like the feet are just hanging off too so i i actually think that this like i think the feet okay. on the earth rise look like a looks like a lift gate on the back okay okay you like a power okay. lift you know i i can make that work in my brain Okay, I think this I can has do it. probably ruined the Siege one for me. Like, as yeah. when Lucas just held it up, I'm like, where's its hat? It's not complete. Right? Because they basically just took the form of the Siege figure and put a hat on it and said, yeah. hey, now it's a proper van. But it really worked, and it kind of just shows you that the old vehicle is kind of an incomplete vehicle. Well, like, this old one, I don't know. There's some stuff that I like about it. Like, I like the little front yeah. grill. looks neat. And I so I kind of wish I could Frankenstein these together again, but you can't unless you just broke off the, um, like you know the top here or whatever wouldn't work because the front windows that that come up here. So he is but. he's really really cool. You can tell that it came from the siege mold, and there's I think probably some shared parts. There's definitely shared engineering. But this Ironhide, I think, does everything possible better. So the thing that's wonky, though, is, is like, if you if you look at it, they actually remolded a ton of them. Like, you can tell just, like, looking at it, um, like, the head is remolded, like, the helmet or whatever. The face is the same, but the head is, like, slightly different. And, like, some of the yeah. arm pieces and whatnot, too. It's just, it's crazy how many pieces that they just slightly remolded. In our yeah. pre-show chat, Anna mentioned that the the head on this one is remolded to be a little less detailed than the Siege yeah. one. Yeah. Do but you that, like the red on the this? Cartoon look? Or do you wish that it was more... Like, so, the... No, I really like the red on this. The, the red on this is like kind of like a faded red or whatever. So this is kind of more of a maroonish red. And this is more of a faded red. This feels then, like correct red i think it some does. of the reds are slightly different too i guess right there are some other color choices that i think could be better which makes me think and we, we talked about this last night on the big show that they may do another version of this iron hide i'm probably proud to but i really would have liked if they had made the bumper pieces in vehicle mode silver not black and if they had made the glass the same blue color that prowl has not just clear yeah that would have been great. So the thing that bothers me, I guess I should have left mine in van mode for a minute, but the thing that bothers me is that these back windows aren't painted or clear plastic. You know, windows. Yeah, you're right. 
It yeah, actually it just... bothers me less in hand than it bothered me in pictures. But here's the thing, Anna, is I'm sure that there is a toy hack set that you'll be able to buy to fix that. So I'm sure there is. Or, you know, it's like a tiny bit of light blue paint. You know, it's not hard to fix. But it'll never look yeah. the same as the rest of the windows in the figure. Because the rest of the windows are clear. And once oh. you've kind of already gone in... You know, toy hacks... But that's where the toy hacks usually... Clearest window labels to, to turn the yeah. clear plastic different colors. So maybe they could do well, it. Well, they could do that. They could just put stickers on top I, of I the clear windows. That. Or underneath or... Yeah. However, yeah. To turn them that blue color. That would be interesting. Yeah, I would actually be willing to do that just because I think they all need to match. But it does bother me that the back windows aren't painted. But, you know, the back windows do end up on the front of his legs. So he would have, you know, either clear plastic on the front of his legs or a light blue on the front I'm of his legs. that's why they made that decision. Yeah, it definitely looks better with just red chalk, but... Yeah, I, I totally get what you're saying. Because if yeah, it was clear plastic, true. you would see inside of the leg, and the inside of the leg is not great. Like, it wouldn't look good to have well, this open. if it's so blue, good. it's going to look weird, too. Yeah, and if you do the paint, then it, it breaks up the form. Yes. And, yeah. Yeah, so you're Probably kind of... Probably a hard place on that one. You really are, but it's something to consider if you don't like that part of them. You know, there will be stickers, I'm sure. Well, and that's the thing I just wonder, with as much remolding as this guy had, if they did try to remold the feet, like, if they tried some stuff out and were like, no, 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 this is really working, like, we can just pretend, like Christian said, it's a lift gate on the back and call right. it a day. But. Yeah, so he oh. has, he has more Ironhide-like colors than the original one, you know, he has his yellow stripes, he has his black shoulders. I feel like he he really captures the G1 Ironhide look, and like um, I think it was Christian who said earlier, they took out the panel lining on his head, so his head's more just the, like flat, you know, just red with no lines on it look that he would have had in the G1 cartoon. That is possibly better to you, or possibly worse. You know, now I'm certain these two heads can be switched back and forth because they're like the same head except for a little bit of detailing. So you could take a siege head and put it on them. So, so does this count as like a hoverboard or a sled or something, Anna? I think it's, it's supposed to be his sled. Yeah, it's a sled from G1. So you and can put the... check it out. It actually, I, did, I didn't know this until just now because I hadn't transformed it the correct way. But this shield mounting point, if you pull it up like yep. this, now you have cannons! Yep. Which are cool. Yeah, or you can have it like that, and it's more like the original sled, right? Because it's also great. Or you can it's make got it its be... little thing. Maybe I don't know, I just thought or... it was a cool little thing. It's my favorite thing about G1 Ironhide and Ratchet has always been the sled, because it's just weird. I like, they, I like that they use them in the comics. Yes. Ratchet did. I don't know if I and I did. So, Peter didn't tell me. But here's the, the here's the form of him without the sled either way, and then you can attach it to the back. I'm gonna do it with the middle part. And like, oh, it's so different. He's got so much kibble now. No, he hides it really well. I mean, if you look, like it's there between his legs, but big deal. I mean, it looks totally fine to me like this. So I actually like this, um, like with the sled and whatnot and the way that they did this better than like the masterpiece. Like it just, I don't know, like the sled on the masterpiece, I guess I appreciate it that it like can store all the accessories, but it's just like a thing that's there, you know, like I, it's not part of the figure the and all that. And I never really liked that. Whereas, like, I actually think that this is actually kind of neat because it harkens back to the, you know, G1 figure and, and all that. Um, I don't know. This just works for me. I think It's also part of the figure. Like you said, the Masterpiece ones are just separate things. And I, I think that, again, like, of all the parts-forming figures, like, this one is one of the ones that works the best for me. Like, and maybe, again, because in my brain, I'm like, oh, this, you know, we're, uh, this harkens back to G1. It, yeah. You know, works better for me. I don't know. It might Correct be. Me if I'm 
correct me if I'm wrong, but I think every time we've reviewed any of the new Earthrise parts from we figures, Cliff Jumper, RC, and now Ironhide, I think we've all said that they pull them off really well. Yeah, I don't mind them. That's never something I, I thought I would say a couple years ago. Like, oh, Park I mean, Swing I isn't that like big a, of a deal. Cliff they, Jumper, they really I think, well. pulls it off because you, I mean, you can just put that part right on his back. Cliff Jumper just looks like, best fine on his or back, whatever. yeah. I think the RC doesn't pull it off that great is just a chunk kind of thing. But again, like it gets her look like she looks better by not having that huge backpack. And I'm really going to be curious to see once the masterpiece comes out, like how, you know, how that all works and all that. Cause that's coming out pretty quick, right? It is. I guess. The RC is the worst of the three as far as parts forming. I would say, you know, her part doesn't really do much of anything. She stands on it, and it's not really passable as anything. I like Cliff Jumper's best because it just goes on his back. It just goes back on the toy. You know, he's a robot again. It's like a, it's almost a, you can compromise and say that, you know, they couldn't make the toy work like this, but his actual form is he just, he just folds that way, right? Like it doesn't ever come off when he transforms. But with this guy, you know, it does come off, but it feels like it's supposed to. Because I do want the sled. You know, I have I have both of the G1 figures on display on my shelf over there, you know, with their sleds open up and them being weird, headless monsters. And I love it. <laughs> Those things are weird. Ah, well, you can put his head away and he can be that. There you go. Headless monster time. Yeah, I, I like them a lot. You know, we say that, I think we say that every week with the new Earthrise stuff, but it's really great stuff. There you so go. much better. There Now he's <laughs> D1. No head. Stupid head, get out of the way. And he's got his pistol. I would have liked to be came with uh, some different guns, but whatever. He I wish he get... came with something to hold while he has this. Yeah. He did get his drill from the Centurion set, so here's mine with that. Pretty For a cool second stuff. there, I was like, why doesn't mine have that? And then, oh, Centurion set, okay. Centurion set. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's what, like, just all the figures that have come out this year, and then I know that we're going to get Bumblebee and Soundwave here pretty quick, and, I mean, it's a lot of really great stuff i mean it, this has been a pretty good year um you know so i, I don't know so much better now yeah. if you want to talk about heads i did notice that he does have some limited head articulation which is probably left over from siege he can't look up at all yeah so i think the siege can look up i think i put mine away yeah, I think the Siege actually has full neck articulation, which yeah, was baffling like to me. this one has a collar on the back, which doesn't look like it needed to have. Maybe it's there for stability. I can't really tell, but yeah, he can't look up at all, which is annoying. He can look down just a little bit. It's probably just side that side. up now, so it must have been him Mine that I was messing with. Tight. Like, he can't look right. Mine can look right and left, but he can't look up and down, which is a bit of a bummer to me because his head is I just a teeny bit recessed. Nothing like the classics one. <laughs> that was horrible. That oh, said, God, that classic one please, was horrible. Please give me this as Soundwave. Shadow Glass Soundwave. Give it to me. I will take it and I will love it forever. Why don't you just yeah. want the Soundwave mold as Soundwave? I want that one too. Give me a two pack. Okay. But Soundwave and Shadow Glass doesn't keep the tape form for very long. Mm. He he's a van with awesome, awesome, awesome paint on the sides. I'm just getting, you know, he's a rocker, so he's got like band paint on the sides of his yeah. van. All the tapes just hang out in the back of the van, and they they're a party. <laughs> it's awesome. It's so cool. No, he's fine. So, you know, I'll take I'll take two shadow glass sound waves. Give me shadow glass sound wave double pack. And throw in some adorable tapes because they can have Shadow Glass Ravage and he'll wave. It'd be amazing. Yeah, I think I have to get the New Age one just because I think I have to. It's so cute. Very tempting. Perfect. But this guy, like, I just 
you know, I like him a lot more than the Siege one. Still, there's just something, like, strangely forgettable about him for some reason for me. I don't know what it is, and I don't know if any of you will agree with it. But just, like, something about when I put him on the shelf with the other figures, he just kind of gets overshadowed. But it's not like he's bad. It's not like he doesn't look like Ironhide. He's pretty much perfect. But something about him makes you forget him. It's probably just how square he is. I like the Ironhide character, but, I mean, the Ironhide toy. Like, if you're just looking at that, I mean, it's a van, you know. I guess he does suffer from having a less interesting all mode. Uh, I like the all mode, really. Like, I actually like my Ratchet in his van mode, my MP. I, no, that's so what I'm saying. The Ratchet looks possible. cool like it's an ambulance, but like right, just a regular just a van. minivan, like, kind of deal, whatever. I get Passenger what you're van. Saying. Yeah, but Ironhide's still cool. I, I don't think he's forgettable, but I, I think I see what you're saying. Yeah, just something like he, about him. He and doesn't seem as revolutionary colors. as some of the other yeah. figures. Right. Some some I figures just kind of blend into your shelf, you know, and you don't notice them as much. I feel like he's one of those. Yeah, maybe. Well, and, and probably this one, too, like, since he kind of has that faded red, it, like, it doesn't right. really pop, you know, like, if it was, like, yeah. a bright red. Yeah, I'm not so. sure if I'm actually going to open the Ratchet when I get it or not, but I would be curious to compare them just to see if, you know, Ratchet being brighter, whiter colors makes him seem cooler again. I think the Ratchet's like a very bright white, I think. Yeah, yeah it looks pretty white. Another thing I want to note is that just like last time around, Ironhide is a bigger deluxe. So he fits in with kind of the bigger deluxe guys like Trailbreaker. Uh, he's you know, definitely taller like he's supposed to be. There's comparison on my surface. Hey, you know, no, and this time he has a wider chest. Yeah. I, I should see them side by side, and his chest is actually wider, which I think is better for Ironhide. It helps capture him that Ironhide look better. But the legs are more or less the same legs. That's yeah. Something that's a little frustrating in general. So the Ironhide that I got in this pack is perfect. Like the quality control is great. Like I didn't have any issues with the flaps like I did with my Siege Ironhide, right? But, like, everyone is different, right? Like, so there might there's other people, like, I know Peter's, the one that he got, like, the, the QC on it was not very good. And other people have said that, you know, theirs are, are loose and, and whatever, you know, right? So it's like you never know. Just kind of luck of the draw. Um, and, I, and James in the chat mentioned that I guess that his didn't come with this gun. Like it was just like missing out of the pack. The one thing that's frustrating with the fact that these are all exclusives and not retail toys is you can't just be like, oh, hey, like this one's messed up. Like, let me go just return it to the store and get the next one off the shelf. And, you know, hopefully that one will be, you know, better. So, like, I don't know. That's a little you know, frustrating that, uh, and, and not necessarily just that they're exclusives, but the fact that like they've, a lot of these have sold out right away. And mm -hmm. so it's just hard to, or not necessarily right these away, but like they're not available ways. now. Yeah. They're not available now, but they did take about three months to sell out. Yeah. Did so, it take a long time to sell out? Which is probably better for Amazon that, they're, that they are selling the number that they, you know, had acquired from Hasbro, but. Yeah, mine is kind of paint splotchy. There's like drips on it in places, which is annoying, but I'm not a stickler for that kind of thing. Not either. If it really annoys me, I've got an isopropyl alcohol that can take it out. Not yeah, happy I mean, the set. I was going to say, I'm a lot more forgiving of that kind of stuff. Like, uh, again, on a $20 retail figure than a masterpiece. Like, that's what a lot of the masterpieces, my paint would chip on them and. It always annoy me to no end because it's a high end figure, whereas, you know, these are kind of meant to be messed with and, and whatnot. Yeah. So I don't mind as much. The one thing that kind of peeves me a little bit is that you currently, unless there's a third version, you cannot get this mold unless you buy a two pack. So you're either stuck with getting a Prowl mold or an RC mold, and either Prowl or the Paradron Lifeline. Uh, you could also get an Optimus mold. Oh, right, because there's another... That's true. That's it's another two pack. Ratchet, yeah. It's another two pack. Ratchet, so that's it's another expensive. option. 
to have it. It so, is yeah, weird. I wonder, whole community it, packs. I wonder if it's a weird cost thing, like if they had to do so much remolding that it's not quite a deluxe anymore. Or they're not thinking of it as an entirely new figure because it's so similar to the old one. Or that, yeah, either way. But it's again, weird they remolded it, it's so very much similar, it. but it's also not. Yeah. yeah. Now, that's the thing that's weird about all these figures where, I mean, Megatron's the same way. Like, it's just all these figures that they totally remolded pieces and ones that even look the same. Like, you really have to look and then you're like, oh, wait, like, this is a new molding. So, yeah. It would, so it's like they're just similar enough that it would look silly to have them standing beside each other on the shelf. Like having the two Ironhide standing together, unless it was an Ironhide display, would be like, it's the same guy twice. But they're different enough that you want this one more than the old one. It's an interesting position to be put in. Yeah. Yeah. So the old one did have that cool hammer. I do like the hammer accessory the old one came with. Yeah. Cool accessory. Yeah. Transforming oh, weapons no. are always fun. I like uh, transforming weapons. I'm not a fan of that one. Well, I like it. Yeah, Good. I miss it. This guy could have it if I kept my other one, but I don't think I should keep two. It seems pointless. Yeah. I mean, you could sell the other one without the hammer. Without the hammer, get like it's 30 not... cents for it. I don't know that it drops the value that much, but sure. It does. 30 cents. We like these toys. We do. Yeah. And Very good. For, for me, it's great that we're inching ever closer to a complete art crew out of this Earthrise style. With Ratchet coming up and Bumblebee coming up, all we'll need are Huffer, Brawn, and Gears. That'd be cool. And they'll just take, like, five years. And Wind Charger, them. sorry. And Wind Charger. Yeah, Footless Wind Charger. He's recent. He would be okay enough. He'd be okay. Just buy him some feet. Yeah, the Gears the is not Titan G1. Is but it's not big enough now that we have the deluxe yeah, minibot thing from Cliffjumper and B. So I think they're going to have to do a different thing with them anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay, though. I'll, I'll like seeing versions of them. Like, I'll be happy to get rid of the Footless Legends guys. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel like those guys are going to come because as deluxes shrink and whatnot, like, I just, it's too easy for them to do those, and there's too many repaints from it. Like, like you know that they're eventually going to come. It may not necessarily be in Kingdom. It may be the next, whatever the next we, line we is. We do have a Huffer listing for Kingdom. Yeah, we have a Huffer listing. Gears was in the Kingdom pick, um, as Catherine had said in the chat, yeah. but... I don't know. the What was the other figure that has not been rumored Polar or released? Claw. As, what's that? Polar Claw, yeah. Polar Claw. So. Yay, Polar Claw. But you know, uh, some weird... You know how Punch Counter Punch is a mold that never came out in a main line ever? Maybe it's a weird situation like that. And Gears is existing there. Or Polar Claw is existing there. I don't know. It's odd. So like, like punches power the primes and also not. So the punch counter punch. The thing, thing that's weird about that is um, why didn't they release him as a? I guess if you released him as a different target master, um, like you might want to release a target master with him. I don't know. It's just so weird that we're getting another punch counter punch, and it, but it's slightly different colors, like. So Mine is going to turn into Nightbeat. I've said it this whole time. I've got that extra head from the no, Generations cool. one. He's going to be Nightbeat. I like the Thrilling 30 Nightbeat. I think that one's... I don't. I don't like no. it either. I think that mold is garbage. It looks okay as Goldfire. That's about it. Good as long as you don't realize it's flat. <laughs> like a paper doll. Yeah. I don't know. Not good. So. Okay. Yeah. I feel anyway. like these, it's a good two-pack. It's not available anymore, just like everything we always talk about. But yeah, well. you may not have to pay too much of a markup if you can find it. And Amazon might stock it again, you know, with one of their sales that's coming up with Black Friday around the corner and every sell they come up with between that and Christmas. So it'll probably pop back up in some way. I'm hoping for like a $10 grapple. Sure. I'd 
I want a grapple to keep in vehicle mode, so he's my first episode hauler. That's it's it's dumb. <laughs> I bet we're gonna get a hauler, like at some point. So Don't you think from selects? I mean, hauler, hauler. He's not on the list for next year that we've seen, but I hope so. Just I'm because he's not a select doesn't mean he's not something like you know this. Like the Amazon exclusives weren't listed beforehand, so we, maybe I don't know. Surprises. Yeah. I do love surprises. There you go. Yeah, hey, it's crazy. Oh, oh, there's also another figure. Yeah, so one came out today, and then there's more figures that are supposed to be announced on Friday, right? Well, the yeah. Ghostbusters thing. Is it a figure? Is it not a figure? Is it just a tiny repaint of a figure we already have? Is or it is a it a Transformers announcement and a Ghostbusters Transformers announcement? The way that it's that phrased in the picture, there's a plus sign between them. So I, I saw someone... Oh, yeah. What if they hmm. What if they redid it as Ecto two? Yeah, I'd I'd get it. That's I'd a few words. Um, In our Discord I'd... chat earlier, we had a very fun time just going through and coming up with all the awful things it could be. Oh, nice. My favorite is a clear Star Scream though, so it could be Ghost Star Scream. That would be Cinna, good. That would be I would... cool. I would like the Gozer from Chromia thing that was in the book. That would be nice to see. Yeah, that was a cool idea someone brought up, too. I like that idea. Oh, okay. So if it was the MP10 mold, right, that, like, sold out at Comic-Con a couple of years ago, Anna, would you get it? Because you never ended up getting that mold, right? <sighs> or whatever, that figure. God, it's like a it's like a $200-ish thing, right? It was well, it was 150 150 uh, I don't think right now I would. I think my, you, my budget's too tight. You should. I know it's cool. It's real cool. But, okay, expose this to everybody who's watching, but I'm not really a big Ghostbusters fan, so... Well, I'm not a not Ghostbusters fan, I just didn't see the movie until I was, like, 35 or so. As far as other Transformers announcements goes, we've got live-action studio series stuff that needs to get announced. There was another leaked image of Grindor today. So... Sure. I think that's probably a possibility. We've seen the Sam and Bumblebee deluxe pack that needs to get officially revealed somewhere. So, you know, that's probably happening. Oh, so, possible. Oh, oh no, selects. you've you've sad Nick, Anna. Way I'm to go! Sorry, I just I didn't get into go. I got into the Ghostbusters cartoon as a kid, but I never saw the movies until I was an adult. And I've never seen the cartoon because I am too young for that. Yep. And I didn't really see movies much as a kid, so I missed a lot of the classic movies. Like, I've never seen Back to the Future and stuff. So, you can still do it. I mean, you're going to have some time off this winter. Um, I am. I am. Like, I can watch a bunch of 80s watch go Like, watch Back to the Future. It's It's fantastic. I should. It's really good. I mean, these these movies are just like really like easy to watch, you know, like these like they're comedies, they're I don't know cultural touchstones. There, see, I saved it. Now Nick likes me again. He said the cartoon <laughs> counts. The so cartoon was good. Of, speaking of Back in the Future, are we doing Gigawatt next week, or I'm gonna I'm gonna call it Gigawatt because he's from that movie? Oh, sure. We could. Anna, are you going to actually do... come pick your gigawatt? I guess I have to now. We could do that. We could do, like, Trailbreaker or Sunstreaker. We still have Airwave to do from Wake 2. Black Guy. Black Guy's still up my garage. Run Amok. Uh, we could do... I don't have Run Amok yet. Yeah, but we just can't do Run Amok. Yeah. What, what else is coming in? Anything? You guys won't have your deluxes. fish for a while, right? Seacocks. Oh, yeah, You're, we won't have those for a while. They're, they're okay. due beginning of next month ish. Okay. Yeah. That's not too long. It's not, not too much longer. I really want to talk about them. They're, it's, their colors are fun. I'm annoyed at that mold now because it keeps falling off my shelves. So. We'll click see. the heels back. I told you. Click, click the feet back one click. Catherine said, do airwave. That's one of our fans voting. The fans have voted for airwave? Okay, we'll do airwave. The fan has voted for airwave. That's okay. We, uh... That's, that's good. 
we we can do airwave before like the five re colors come out. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have hot house at the beginning of next month, and we'll have uh, over air, which is cool. Yeah, I'm I'm excited to talk about airwave because mine is still out in the garage, so it'll be a new thing to open. There you go. All right, so next week we'll do airwave. I figure out where he is in there. An adventure. It will be. I'll find other things like spiders. Yeah. Well, Randall says surprise us, and, and, you know, who knows? We may, like, it's not like us to actually try to figure this out, like, a week ahead of time. So, you know, we need to figure out the day of and say, wait, or which one are we doing again? Yeah, consider it. I usually post the teaser, like, three hours before the show. Yeah, exactly. You might be surprised. So. Sometimes upwards of eight hours before the show. I got like eight this week and last week. Plan and no, uh, today today it was four hours. I posted about four thirty. That was late. Hmm. So we have a vote for airwave and a vote for surprises. I guess we'll figure it out. We'll see Anna does week. have to read Shadow Play this week. That's true. Uh-huh. Oh, I read the title, so I've started. I might, I might actually get around to joining you guys this week. Who knows? You should Another just read club. Shadow Play. It's three whole issues. We'll see. Um, I was going to mention last night on TFLP we talked about stuff. I don't know. Uh, it's pretty much all off topic. We complained about the retailers um, and pre-orders and whatnot, like we always do. Um, and we talked about how that we've got we're getting a zillion figures in. Um, just the amount of figures that we've already gotten and the amount of figures that we're getting over the next few months is crazy. So. So check that out. It was a lot of fun. Uh, tomorrow night uh, is uh, Oof My Wallet. So um, two two weeks in a row. I know this is crazy for uh, for another show. So so that should be fun. I think Paul said that he got in some good stuff this week, and you know Anna, you know, will probably have some knockoff garbage or something. I don't know. What are you talking about? Knockoff garbage. Here's a here's a little. Preview. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my god. Just a little preview. What's gonna be there tomorrow? It's gonna be so, amazing. Oh no. You all love it. So there you go. Um, and then cut the tape on Friday, Saturdays, uh, and then book club Sunday nights. Uh, so if you want to join us, it's more than meets the eye issues nine through eleven. Um, and then we will talk about it live um, Sunday night at 8.30 Central, 9.30 Eastern on the Discord channel. So if you want to continue the conversation, join us on Discord. So the link should be like on our social media and YouTube and whatnot. So, all right. Well, thanks everyone. Uh, thanks everyone in the chat, Randall, Peter, Catherine, um, Nick, and Ron. Um, I think that's it. So, anyway, thanks everyone. We'll see you next week. Thank you, wonderful folks.